I'm going to show how to control exposure compensation on the Panasonic ZS200 camera, also known as the TZ200. We'll start out first in program mode with the mode dial at the P setting. And there, these are the controls. The exposure compensation button there is the top one in the group of cursor buttons. And the control ring, which we'll use later on, is in the front of the camera with the ridges around it. Now here's the uh, screen showing a teapot that's too bright against the dark background. So we press the up button. This is just showing the normal process. Press the up button and then uh, dial in however much positive or in this case negative exposure compensation you want to make the image look better in terms of brightness. Now we'll try a, in manual exposure mode with the mode dial at the M position and we press the up button but it doesn't work because the up button has a different purpose in this mode. It switches the functions of the rear dial and the control ring between controlling aperture and shutter speed. So you can't use that method. But what we can do is press the FN3 button, which is normally assigned as the Q menu or quick menu button. That brings up the quick menu shown here, and it in, can control exposure compensation if you have it set to do that, as I do. So you can just uh, press the FN3 button down there at the lower left on the camera's back, and then dial in however much exposure compensation you want. Now, uh, here's a third method that we can use. We go to the menu, go to screen three of the custom menu, go to the ring dial set menu option, and select the control ring. That's graphically shown up there at the top of the screen. And we set the control ring to control exposure compensation. Now, when we turn the control ring in front of the camera, exposure compensation moves up or down however you want to set it without having to press any buttons at all. So the control ring uh, is the solution in some cases. Now we'll switch the mode dial to the position for creative video mode. And within the creative video mode there are four exposure modes uh, and we're going to select the manual exposure mode. You can change that there by pressing the icon on the screen and select the M mode for manual exposure within the creative video mode. And now we have started recording a movie, pressing the red button on top of the camera. And we now press the up button for exposure compensation. Nothing happens. We press the FN3 button for exposure compensation uh, through the quick menu, and that doesn't work either. So but we, we also have the control ring set to control exposure compensation as we did before, and that does work. So that's the answer. If you can't control exposure compensation in these manual exposure modes some other way, you can use it with the control ring. For more information, see the book that I'm just finishing up as I do this video. It should be available um, in late June of 2018 on the Panasonic ZS200 or TZ200 camera. Go to whitenightpress.com for more details.